Greetings and welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm really having a good time playing this early access game. We are still in the alpha stage. Um, so I've been kind of looking at our stores and deciding that they're not working as well as I wanted. So I did a little research and quite a number of chains changes have happened in Alpha 2. One of these things is the mechanic that allows people to make impulse buys, and we have not been taking advantage of that. So I'd like to redesign our grocery store today to take advantage of all that stuff. As you can see, while I've been running the game to get a little bit more money, I've uh, installed these different items. We've got laptop computers, game consoles, and TV sets, and all of them have been um, picked over by customers. So they're at 75% fullness, 70 75. Um, so what I'd like to do today is kind of revamp this store to take advantage of that particular uh, thing because I think it'll be it'll make things a little bit more interesting possibly. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. All right so let's um, we'll close the store first manage the store. Um, okay, let's go here. I might want to extend it. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with it, but I know that we're going to make people look at stuff that they may not have ever thought they needed. So <laughs> that's going to be one of the, the items, one of the things that we're going to do. All right, let's uh, look at our objects. Yes, doors. I want a door. <clears throat> I'm going to have more doors as well. Let's put another door like right there and uh, yeah that's that's about good I think four spaces in between and we're gonna deconstruct some things let's remove walls objects let's get rid of these uh, and then we're gonna figure out how long our longest checkout lines are build let's see, manage 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 no let's build objects please check out thingy great there we go <clears throat> okay so these last until there so that's quite a long distance actually so i'm gonna um gonna take away objects we're gonna take all of these out uh and actually i think i may want to just redo all of this also the other thing i found out is atms are not functional right now at all so we're, those we're not going to put in because they, they do cost us a dollar a day, which is kind of pointless to have around. All right, so let's look again at our checkout counter. Okay, so if I put one there, yeah, that's perfect. So we're going to put tables in here. And these are going to be for the impulse buy products. Let's remove some of these things, remove all of these. We're going to have like a teeny little maze that our customers can go through. Um, and we're all, let's get rid of these two. Okay. And then we'll have more doors. I mean, objects. There we go. Let's go to three. Put one here so we can have lots of doors for getting out and in. Um, to kind of open up more of this parking lot so people don't have to be uh, complaining at all. All right, let's put in some more tables. Now, we do have to be careful to have a balance of items, uh, i.e. we want to have at least 50% food because that's just going to be the specialty for this store. So if we've got two, four, five, so we've got 10 tables of miscellaneous products, uh, maybe even let's do 15 four, five, that's, so that's 15. So they're going to go past these different things and hopefully maybe buy stuff. We'll see. Uh, but I want to get rid of some of these things. Yeah. I'm just going to get rid of all of them. I was trying to just kind of like be the, be very sparing about this, uh, but there's really no need to be. And let's get our cashiers in, uh, objects can, here and the other thing is too we can also put them on the ends of these guys too uh, so just they don't block the other cashier stands okay uh, not order counter checkout counter that's what we need this tooltip is a little bit big i think kind of annoying um okay nice i'm not sure why i didn't do that in the beginning but it works that way pretty well all right, now, now we can arrange some food shelves and how do we want people to shop? 
Um, the thing about customers is, do we have, we don't even have any customers. Oh no. Um, well, regular peeps will be just fine. If you look at them, uh, we can see like this person has a weak stomach, uh, a former janitor, Piscivore. Aha. So this person cannot resist fresh fish. So if he sees a, um, a freezer section with fish, he'll buy some. Let's see. Don Valdez, alcoholic, can't resist liquor, beer, and wine. Okay. Pretty, pretty interesting. Camera enthusiasts. Look at this. Yep. Can't resist cameras. So you, there are all kinds of people that, uh, I mean, people have all kinds, like incontinent, can't resist diapers. So people have all kinds of proclivities that they need to satisfy uh, in the store. So let's see how we want to do this. I'm kind of debating whether I should mix up food and other stuff, or if I should arrange it more like a real grocery store. I'm honestly not sure how I should do it. Um, but I'm going to try, um, I've had this thought about doing things in a line, but in a line in a different way. So something like, let's see what there's a high demand for. If we look at the needs of food. Okay. And we're going to look at tier one and tier two. We've got like canned food is only tier one. Candies, uh, demand six and four breakfast cereal. Kind of look for stuff that, oh, wow. Holy fuzzy cats. Milk, huge demand for milk. Okay. That's really, really high. So sliced bread. Um, wow. Frozen pizzas. That's nice. Okay. So we definitely want to have milk and frozen pizzas in the back for sure. So my idea is to kind of lure people. Um, wow. Okay. Fresh fruit. So I want them to come to the back of the store and to do that, they're going to have to go through the, all the aisles to get to the back of the store. Um, so you know what? I'm going to take out the storage space too. I'm just going to take it right out and I'll put the storage somewhere else. So I want them to walk to the back, getting the milk and fresh veg and frozen pizzas. Uh, so I'm going to have those kinds of things right at the back. And then they'll have to go through all the canned foods and diapers and other kinds of stuff. Um, so that's, that's my idea for now. So let's remove these walls here and we're going to move that storage somewhere else. Okay. Let me manage. We're going to extend or assign, I'm going to assign the store to go all the way back here. Yes, yeah, that's fine. Grocery world is now gigantic. Okay. Um, but I should, let's see, is that enough? See that the question is, is this enough space to do stuff in? I'm hoping it will be. Uh, and I'm wondering if I should put the, the storage up here or over here. Cause I could extend upward or I could extend leftward. Hmm. I could, you know what? I'll extend upward. That would make more sense because we can have more cashiers and stuff like that too. Okay. So we're going to build, uh, our, okay. Let's just see how much in terms of space we have here. So objects, let's put in some food shelves here. Going to have a little bit of space here. Two, one, two. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Regular shelves. We'll just add in the, oh, oh no, no, no. Okay, good. Kind of move things around here. Uh, we can have, we can also have spaces for them to walk in between. So that works too. Oh, there we go. And I should do some fridge shelves as well. There we go. And yeah, we're going to need more space for this store. So still doesn't seem like a whole lot of shelves, but, um, let's, let's just do this. Let's build, build foundations. There we go. We're going to need how many more squares in this store? We're going to need, let's see going to need one, uh, two. Okay. And then I want, 
Should we have another four? We could have another four. Okay, so there we are. We're going to have that. It's one and then another two, maybe. Oh, God, it's hard to see. And then one more for walking space and then freezers along the back. And I should I get one more? I should get one more. Let's get one more. Okay, go, people. <clears throat> make it work. Please make it so. And we'll also delete these walls. Remove these walls. Um, and then we can put in some more of these freezers here. Okay. I'm just going to make sure this is what we want. Okay, that's pretty much... Yep, I've got it the way I expected to have it, which is what I wanted. Um... Okay, we also don't want to make the grocery store too long because all of our peeps are going to have to go to the storage and then take stuff out and refill the shelves. Okay, so we had most of... Oh, you know what we forgot? Oh, dear, dear me. Ah, uh, wow. All right. Um, so we're going to have... I forgot the shelves for fresh bread and stuff. That ain't good. Um... I could take these out. Oh, you know what I could do? I could put the um, the tables for the bread there. I think I'll do that. All right, remove this one, and then we'll have tables for fruits and vegetables and bread here. All right, objects, tables. There we go, and that's gonna be plenty of space. Now, as you can see, I'm planning on having lots of customers. Uh, and I'm hoping this is going to work. We do have a little bit of monetary leeway, uh, which is nice. I'm going to make some... I wanted to make nice spaces for people to walk, but it's not letting me do that very well. Let's do it this way. And then we'll put a plant over there on the left. I don't think plants do anything either, but they, they look okay. They look nice. Now, we must have storage as well. So we're going to build a storage area here. Okay, let's get this. Seven wide is enough, I think. So there's always two a space on beside the walls so that our people can walk about. So this is going to have like a 5 by 13 area of storage. I think that's too much. I think we can do 3 by 13, and I I'm hoping... That'll be enough. Uh, whoops. No, it's not. Hold on. No, I miscalculated. I'm right. I'm right. Err. Okay. I forgot that it was counting this. Okay, so this is going to be perfect. Where well, we have the three middle sections to store the uh, the stuff. Now, I want to change this stuff here as well. Oh, well, actually, you know what we could do? We could have a couple of staff doors and have extra places where the janitors can drop the trash. So I think I will remove, okay, let me get those guys onto that. And then we'll add road work. We want to add a road here. Ah, and the other thing is, have I, no, I have not unlocked the bus stop yet, but I think I'm working on that. Yeah, three hours until we get a bus stop. So I think we'd like to, let's remove, the bus can stop right here, right in front. Um, I think that'll be good, a good spot. Oh, no, they took out the walls. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll put them back in. And we're going to need objects. Door, staff door. Okay, we're going to have a door there and there. And probably here and there. Because they're going to store the stuff in the middle. Road work. So we want to do our loading zone. We're going to have two loading zones. Uh, because sometimes we have more than one truck, it seems like. So garbage going to be right here in front of the staff door. Uh, it doesn't need to be near the loading zones, because where do they take the trash out? They don't take the trash from the storeroom. They take it from the regular store. Uh, and I think I'll have some... I might have staff parking over here. Or should I? Eh, it's hard to tell, because... This is actually quite a long way to walk from the entrance of the store. So it feels like maybe I should put my staff parking over here. All right, uh, let me remove some of this road work and we'll have like a little bit of staff parking in this area. I think that might be a good idea. Okay, so let's get that done. Unpause it. 
So, okay, well, wait, while that is happening, we need to get our stock clerks working here uh, and doing stuff. Uh, so we have lots and lots of fuchsia. This is going to be more than 50% uh, of all these tables and such, but let's see what people are going to want in terms of tier one stuff. Um, let's see. The thing about it is we want to choose the thing that's going to have a lot of profit on it. Dishwasher. No, no, no. I want laptop computers. They have a pretty decent demand. They've well, three demand. There's two demand for those. Smartphone is five. Tablets are two. MP3 players. Cameras. Um, I only have one demand at low level. I'm kind of looking at the low level thing. We could sell washing machines. <laughs> That might be actually quite funny. I don't think we have them researched though. Uh, so I think I'm just going to do a mix of computers and consoles and smartphones. Um, do we have media unlocked? I forgot. Let's look. Media, media. Yeah, we do have media. So we could do media if we wanted to. Alrighty. Let's look at, we'll have computers, game consoles, and smartphones. So we're going to do the same over here. We'll do our laptop computers, game consoles, smartphones, tablets, I'm just going to go down the list here, mp3 players, um, cameras, TV sets, more cameras, more TV sets, let's go mp3 players, more tablets, uh, smartphones, game consoles, computers, just in case they want to see it again. <laughs> I could actually put shelves here to have other stuff uh, going on, but let's see what else we want. Maybe more computers. Okay. Cause computers have a really high uh, value. So they profit is 50 to hundred for each one, which is nice. So my hope is that we're going to make a ton of money here. And so we can expand these very, they're very teeny little stores. I'm going to make these bigger and we're going to actually sell some real specialty products in there. Okay. So I think what I will do is let's, um, yeah, what we need to do is set up these guys. We had the demand for what, what do we need? We need food food, milk, milk was very high. Uh, meat. Wow. Meat is pretty good too. We've got 16 and 16. So meat should go in the back. Milk should go in the back. What did we say? Bread was high slice. Oh, was that sliced bread on the, on the shelf? Uh, fresh fruits are good too. Let's get fruit, fruit and veg. Cause I didn't leave any room over here for that, but I think this is going to be good for that. Oh, not in an active zone. Okay. Let, yeah, that's an important thing. Let's assign our zones store. It's going to be extended to here. We're going to have storage here. There we are. And we need to make sure we manage the grocery world, assign the storage to there. Good. Uh, okay. And now we can get our parking spaces in as well. Um, staff parking, put that here, here, here. And okay, do there, 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 and can go there. Customer parking, shove it down here, and we'll all be good. Alrighty, so we are gonna have food, fresh fruits. We're just gonna mix them up a bit so that they kind of can, people can go through all these different aisles fruits, veg, and bread. And now back here, we're going to have stuff. We're going to have milk and pizza. That's pretty much what we're going to have. We're going to have milk here, milk here. Um, and then pizza, frozen pizzas, frozen pizzas, and more frozen pizzas. Okay. So those are our main draw items. So hopefully people will go through the whole area and these are here on purpose. And there are real stores that actually do this. I've been through several of these kind of things where there's actually a little thing before you get in the line that um, they will try to tempt you with. Um, so yeah, let's see what else we want to have here. We can do various household products and toys and things like that there. I think we should have definitely enough, uh, stuff here, but for these back shelves, let's get some other popular things. I think sliced bread was quite popular. So we'll do two shelves of that. Uh, and then the other stuff can be in the beginning. I think, let's see. I don't really want to look up all of these different things. So well, we can look at like, um, soft drinks or something like that. Whoops. Oh, 
Um, bottled water. Oh, those are beverages. Oh, yeah. Liquor is high. Bottled water. Wow, it's huge. Beer, bottled water, wine, and juice. So, wow. Okay, soda. Soda is also very... Okay, soda, bottled water, and beer. Okay, well, I know what to put there now. So we're going to put these on here. Beverages, soda, and bottled water. And I'm going to put them... Yep, okay. And more soda and bottled water. Okay, like that. Uh, and we can put the other beverages over here. Uh, liquor and beer and wine and juices. Mm, yeah, that'll be good for that. I, I feel like my store is too small. We need a bigger store. Okay, so food. Let's get... I don't really want to store any beverages until we sort out the rest of the food. Let's get ice cream in here. Put ice cream down here. And we'll have next to the ice cream we can have dairy. Uh, dairy. Okay. And then we'll just again have... Um, and these guys can be meat and fish. Meat and fish. We'll have here meat and fish. And then I want to mix it up a little bit because the other people are going to go through here. Here we're going to have frozen veggies and frozen veggies. And what else should we have? Should we have some, I don't know, what? Pizza? No, <laughs> more pizzas. No, I think we're actually okay because these guys are so close to the storage um, center, storage uh, room, that our people can refill them very, very easily. All right, should we do ice cream? Yeah, we can just do ice cream there and we'll have some more veggies there. Ah, well, with that said, I think we can get rid of these. Um, I think that'll be better because we'll have more shelves for our store. Okay, so let's take out those. Then select, note, build. Okay, remove. Let's get these out. Okay, and... Okay, our people are, we actually have cashiers, so I might want to even open this store. Uh, manage the store. Let's open the store. And uh, people can come, come in if they want to shop. They're going to have to know it's under construction. But otherwise, it's going to be okay. All right, so let's just start filling in random stuff here. Um, candies. Uh, this one can also be candies. I kind of want to give people a variety of stuff to look at as they're going along, depending on the um, the area of the store they're in. Food, canned food, we'll put canned food again up here. Okay, cereal, snacks, cookies, sauces. There we go. All right, and we'll build more shelves. There we are. All right, and then here, uh, well, let's let's finish off the food stuff. Let's get coffee and tea, pet food, um, and then we can start doing doubles of stuff like breakfast cereal, snacks, cookies, sauces. Oh, we forgot to do coffee and tea. Um, rice and pasta. We'll do some bread. Bread is always good. Actually, bread should be in the... Uh, I don't want bread there. Let's not get bread here. Let's have pet food there. We'll put bread here toward the back. Okay, here we go. Bread. Sliced bread. Put here sliced bread. So we had a huge amount of sliced bread desire. So we'll have our coffee and tea there. Uh, all right, we'll just put in some more of the stuff just to fill things out a bit. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Food. Breakfast cereal, snacks, cookies, more stuff, more things, all the things, all the stuff. Okay, pet food. And I am doing this randomly, mostly just because I want to see if people will go for different 
um, uh, what do you call them, the, the uh, impulse buys. It's really, really important for them to have access to everything they could ever possibly want um, because, you know, they, they, we need to sell them stuff, even if they don't know they want it yet. Okay. Uh, the other thing I want to look at is before I get to these, we're going to look at, okay. So this, this was our graph for when I was playing on camera. And this is after I added those few impulse buy items, the, the couple of TVs where I had the little tables at the door or over here actually. Um, but now I just want to look at this and so we can compare it later to what we get. Okay, now manage these things. We're gonna add random kind of items like diapers, uh, toilet paper, um, ladies feminine products, uh, and let's see, light bulbs, bed sheets, cookware. Cookware is always good in a store. Dishes. No, I just say that because it's a grocery store and you need to eat, right? Okay, and media and toys will have toys and books. And what else? Maybe DVDs. I always see DVDs at, um, at the store. And then maybe music CDs. Okay. Okay. We could go through this very scientifically um, and make spreadsheets, but I'm, I want to just see it more casually. So, okay, let's get this going. Let's see if we have, let's get some people in here. And after we get the whole store stocked is really when we can uh, make sure and hire enough people to be happily fulfilled. Okay. So people actually are going, it looks like they're not going through the maze necessarily. Sometimes they're going through, maybe it's because they are, they're going straight to the checkout line. Okay. But to get in, they seem to be going in. Well, except for people that are cutting through here, which is funky. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'm I'm hopeful and anxious that we should do better. I've also changed this to a smartphone store because I was looking at cameras. Uh, these are electronics and appliances. So we had it on. We had cameras. Oh wait, why is this this way? What? How very funky. That is so strange. When I looked at this before I started the episode. <laughs> This was like tiny demand. Urgh. All right. Or maybe I was looking, I might've been looking at the wrong thing. Okay. So let's change this back to cameras. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. All right. So we'll change this to, I don't know. So we've got TVs there. Um, let's look at what, what else is, is okay there. That needs anything. Have a great need on, on one tier one laptop computers has a decent thing. Um, demand one, demand two, demand one, demand two, three, four. Hmm. Okay. Well, the, the other thing that you, uh, will notice is that even though demand was two yesterday on smartphones, we sold three of them, which is basically the impulse buy thing going, um, our way. Um, all right. Uh, should MP3? Uh, there's so much meowing going on here with this. I guess I could sell, we could try to sell laptop computers and, and consoles. Let's sell game consoles. All right. What do we got? Restaurants. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guy. We're, we're just, yeah, that was not great. Do I need more, ch uh, stalkers? I might. And I want people to discover the wonder that is the new store. Uh, we do need our peeps. Let's uh, manage this store and see how many stock clerks we have. Okay, so we didn't do well, but we were only hoping for like half a day. Uh, staff, how many of stock clerks do we have? We only have three. This eh, might be a slight problem. Okay, and I also want to change them to have a default of eight hours. Because on some people I was saving money, on some, eh, not so much. So move you up, move you up as well. So we have somebody at all times. Let's see if we can hire a stock clerk. Um, this person has high skill, but the walking speed is terrible. I think I'll hire Lynn. Stock clerk, 17.23. Yep, high is higher. Okay, so Lynn, you're going to be a stock clerk. And we'll come to work in 22 hours. No, thanks. 
Can you do that? Please? Maybe? Okay. Anyway, she hopefully will come to work soon. Cashier-wise, um, do I have them all? I have some of them working seven hours. But some are eight. I don't know what's going on with this. I think I'm going to go back and... Yep, yeah, well, maybe just one or two. Okay, well, in any case, we do want them to work the longer hours. Do we have... We have two on at night. This graph is so funky. I hope the dev changes this to be a little bit more readable. I would wish that the bottom line is always zero. Because what it does, it just defaults to... Like, the lowest amount we have is on the bottom. So we have two on uh, during the night, during those very low hours. All right, hopefully... Yeah, it's going to take a while to get our stalkers to... Eh, I should hire some more. Let's hire a couple more. Okay, this person, wow, Will Arnold has pretty decent walk speed and has very good stock clerk speed. We'll hire him. Uh, so let's set you to work here. Hire another person. Uh, your speed is better than the other people's. All right, Dawn, come on in. You shall work. Like there. Okay. So we're now going to have two stock clerks on at all times. Yeah, they really can't keep up very well so far. Oh my gosh, and I've gone way, way over time. But I, I really want to see how much money we can make, even with partial product stuff. Oh wow, look at the number of parking spaces we're using. Oh, that's I think that's yesterday's parking, maybe? Probably. Okay, sales were down yesterday as well. Profit was down. Yep, we all know that. Okay, how is... Um, we haven't seen how this store is doing because we have not tried new products yet. Alright, we're going to have to wait till midnight. But I am excited and anxious. Oh, you know, we can build a bus transport network. Yay. And we're going to get restrooms as well because our poor peeps are having to suffer onward. All right. So let's build um, some. The, let's get the bus thing. Is it road work? It's road work. Bus stop. Okay. Good. Yay. Oh, whoops. Okay. I wanted to actually see that. Do they come... I forgot if they come once a day or more than once. I should look it up. Uh, maybe it says. No, this is the one item without a tooltip. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, maybe it says in the research menu. Does it say? Oh, it doesn't say. Okay. No worries. All right, let's hurry up the time. We are getting people coming in. Wow, we're having tons of people. Look at this. This is great. We're having a few queues going on. Uh, nothing overwhelming so far, but I think we're going to need to hire um, another, uh, definitely at least one s clerk for this hour. This is 18.48. Oh, yes, we were very short on cash. Oh, well, no, actually, we're not short on cashiers, uh, but we could still afford to hire them. Um, let's see. Okay, so sociability. We're looking at sociability and cashier skill. Now, the thing about speed, I don't know if if speed affects cashiers or not. I assumed it does because it says determines customers' checkout time. But the customer waiting in line surely does not need speed. It needs the checkout clerk must need speed, right? Right. All right. We'll we'll choose the um, this person for now. We're gonna have you come in here. Of course, that person won't come in until tomorrow. Ooh, hi, hi Ali. But the one thing that's really important to note is that people do gain skill over time. So if you look at some of the early ones we've hired, um, look at his cashier skill. There's no way we would have hired him at that high. And all of the early ones, they are all gaining really nice skill in, in the various things, whether they're a cashier, a stock clerk, or a, a janitor, they all do gain skill. All right, we're at 23, so we've got, eh, we could use another cashier here as well. Let's hire Bobby Walters. Oops. Okay, so you can go like that, maybe, and I'll hire another person for the morning hours. Oh, Beverly Hampton is pretty darn good. So I'm not as worried about hiring people for... Let's see. Yeah, this graph is so weird to read because of this thing there. All right, we'll hire Beverly for them. Um, yeah, because they do gain skill over time. So I'm just not worried at all 
uh, about that. Oh, here is our, our store is looking very nicely stocked, except we are kind of, um, we're going to need to have some refills here. So we might have to add more stockers. Oh, 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 we can look at our, our things. Restaurants, queues full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bus transport is done. We saw that. Good. Oops, manage. So how did we do? Look at that. Up to nearly $5,000 profit, which is amazing. Uh, how did uh, Smartphone World do? Eh, it's okay. It's it's kind of like iffy. I'm not sure if it was that great or not. Maybe I should go back to smartphones instead of cameras again. I don't know. But this is performing a lot better. And I think it's because we are selling a ton of these impulse buy products. So look at this. Shelves down to 20% on game consoles. And we're making 96 to 192 profit on those. Yay! So this is going to be the way we're going to build a store. Um, and then we're going to focus probably as soon as we get a little bit of money, focus on improving these specialty stores because those are going to be a bit bigger and we're going to have a different way of, of organizing them. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.